Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna start my new kind of series to do with my new home and if you guys follow me on Twitter or Instagram or um, even on YouTube you will know that I'm in the middle of buying a new home. Um, it's not all complete just yet but um, I'm probably only about three or four weeks away now um, and before that I'm actually off to San Francisco on Saturday so uh, for a couple of weeks I'll probably be completing when I return um, and I've bought a beautiful um, old Victorian um, terraced house um, and I'm really excited to move in and I'm really excited to do the whole house up um, it's already kind of done to a decor that I really like the walls and the floors I've got kind of wooden flooring um, and beautiful kind of wallpapers throughout um, but obviously I want to move in and put my own personal touch on things um, and make it um, you know to my taste and style um, so I've already started buying furniture and lots of um, little knickknacks to do the whole place up. Now today is going to be kind of some of the little bits and bobs that I've bought for the place. Um, I probably will, second video is going to probably be kind of the furniture um, that I've bought but um, uh, I've just kind of, I'm loving secondhand furniture shopping right now. I've been doing it so regularly. Every weekend I'm off out around London trawling through secondhand furniture shops and I'm totally loving it. Um, and the fun it, fun part of that is it's, it's sort of you've got to use your kind of imagination and creativity and try and see the beauty in a piece of furniture because it might not be exactly how you want it when you first purchase it. Um, but, you know, with some a paint job or you know some upholstering you can make it exactly how you want it so um, I'm definitely working on quite a few projects right now and um, they're all kind of downstairs and I'll definitely share them with you but um, let me make a start I want to show you some of the little bits and bobs that I've been buying all over the place um, firstly I have bought this cute little heart mirror which has got just like a little rose in the middle there it's beautiful very kind of shabby chic that is kind of probably the style I would say that I'm going for kind of shabby chic glamorous but modern and I'm I'm looking for bargains everywhere everywhere that I can online in secondhand shops Ikea I don't want to do my whole house in Ikea though so I've got to like try and steer away from Ikea a little bit because it's tempting to buy a lot of things in there because they're quite cheap um, the second thing I bought from so the, the clock I actually bought off eBay Bay, um, and I bought that for about seven pounds. Second thing, I don't want to unwrap it just yet, it's in the bubble wrap. If you can see that, it's a sign for my bathroom, and it's just like a metal um, sign. It says Chateau Spa and Resort, and what does it say at the bottom? D, I don't even know what it says, but it's a picture of a bathtub, and it's just kind of shabby chic and like a metal sign. And I'm going to put that on the door of my bathroom. Um, guys do tell me if you're interested in watching um, anything to do with my house because I am sort of going to go in that direction show you my house and, and what it's like and things that you know you're going to see a lot of these pieces all over the place when I do like kind of the house tour and things um, I picked this up from it's a chalkboard with kind of flowery little tiles on the bottom there for six pounds um, actually goes this way up um, this will probably go in my kitchen somewhere to put reminders for um what I need to buy that week, uh, what food I need to buy. Um, another cute little thing I picked up was so cheap was this lampshade and it's like a velour plummy purpley gorgeous colour and this cost me like two pounds from a local um, secondhand furniture shop so that was a big bargain. Now I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put that yet but I just had to buy it for two pounds I was like well I'll figure it out <laughs> um, when I move in where I'm going to put it. Um, so, um, moving on, now Ikea, I picked up, I was in Ikea the other day and I picked up this throw which is a black and white chunky kind of knit throw, it was about £20 which I love, I love black and white, I love chevrons, I love black and white stripes, um, so that's kind of another theme that you'll probably see throughout. Um, I also picked up some materials and pillowcases, just a, a chevron, these are all off eBay, a chevron material which cost about £5. Um, I picked up this stripey, if I can show you, sort of orange, blue um, and creamy kind of stripey design material. Not sure again what I'm going to do with it but I'm just going to pick up bits and bobs of material but I'll probably end up making um, cushion covers or um, throws or drapes or something. Um, another um, chevron cushion cover that I picked up on eBay is this one kind of a large cushion cover in a chevron style which I totally totally love 
I think chevron, if it's done really tastefully, can look amazing, um, but I'll have to be careful not to overdo it um, with chevron. I've also, I've just bought so many things and I need to rush through them quickly, otherwise this video will go on for too long. Um, I've bought lots of shabby chic style hearts, that, um, like so. This is kind of a large glittery gold one. Um, they're all off eBay. I've bought another kind of green one that you can see off eBay. Um, a larger white one. These will just go on like door hooks or from um, window sills. Um, something that I showed on my Instagram recently, it reads, today will be awesome. And I'm going to put this somewhere where I'll see it every single day because it's a nice positive way to start your day. Um, and a couple of, another heart. Um, and this sign says, this kitchen is seasoned with love. And I love that. So I was like, yep, yeah, i got to get that to my kitchen door. So there's some cute little knickknacks and hearts um, for the house. Then, I've also bought a few kitchen bits. I've bought some glasses from Ikea in like a um, pur like purple colour and some black ones. They're both from Ikea, not very expensive. Um, I bought, there's a shop called Tiger in um, near me. Um, some of you guys in the UK will have heard of it. I bought these little shot glasses because I know I'll probably end up using them as egg cups. Um, another thing I bought in Ikea was, it was really cute. Um, cups and saucers like the clear ones I thought they were really really cute, gorgeous so I picked them up um, a lot of this thing a lot of these bits and mobs are very sort of cheap and affordable um, also in Ikea I picked up this plant pot I think it's a plant pot but I think I'm going to use it for either brushes um, or something more fun like makeup or something I'm not sure yet I'll figure that out um, again in Ikea I picked up some pink tea lights which I love tea lights I love burning tea lights I think they can give a lot of mood and atmosphere and, and it's beautiful so I thought these are quite cool and fun and pink ones and I picked up three of these kind of tea light holders too um, so I can uh, pop them in there so they don't make much of a mess um, something else I picked up that I wanted to show you it's going to be hard to show you actually this is a wall sticker and I'm going to show you on my phone what it looks like that was actually off eBay and cost about three or four pounds but this is what it looks like it reads dream until your dreams come true I don't know if you can see that. If you can't, I'll um, put that up on the, the actual um, on my page uh, on the video <laughs> in the video on my page in the video, um, and that I think will probably go somewhere in my bedroom, perhaps um, where I do all my dreaming. <laughs> um, I also picked up this shabby chic kind of um, watering can slash vase. Um, I'm actually going to use this in my kitchen for all my kitchen utensils, like my wooden spoons and big spoons. Um, I just love the kind of French or natey kind of um, style of that and that picked that up from eBay um, from a local kind of interior shop which I can never remember what it's called I picked up these kind of nautical style hooks and I got three of them and they're a couple of quid each I picked up quite a few um, hooks actually from that shop but um, they're all over the place I'm not even sure where they are to be honest at the moment I've just got things everywhere right now as you can imagine um, with you know moving and packing and traveling and everything going on um one of my favorite pieces that i've picked up from for my door my the um i'm gonna have like a dressing room slash office and for that room i picked up this amazing gold n for the door um and that was off ebay that wasn't very expensive it's about six or seven pounds and i love that that is one of my favorite sort of pieces so far um then also from the shop that i got the hooks from i picked up this peg I have no clue what to do with it but it's got these flowers and butterflies and it's just kind of cute, I just kind of like it so I was like yeah that's cool. Um, from Ikea I picked up this little lantern to burn my tea lights in. Um, I have a lot of um, original fireplaces in the, the house I'm buying so I think that'll look quite nice um, next to a fireplace. Um, and the final few bits, I picked up this cute little mug from one of the shops that I was in, I think this was from TK Maxx. Um, it's like two or three pounds. I just thought it was really nice, really kind of homely mugs. So that's kind of gorgeous. Um, and a couple more things from Tiger, a couple of bowls, which is like with a black and white diamond pattern. And then some clear, blue and white, quite heavy side plates. So in my kitchen, I kind of want like 
an eclectic mix of plates and bowls and um, I'm not one of those people that goes for all matching um, I do like the whole eclectic kind of mix and shabby chic and kind of just thrown together style so um, that's the kind of look I'll probably be going for so guys do tell me do you guys want to see me more doing the home stuff are you interested in doing me doing room tours and me doing decorating and showing you how I kind of um, sort of reupholster furniture and make it look brand new again and things like that do comment below but guys I hope you've I hope you've enjoyed this video today I know it's a little bit different from my normal but this is kind of the stuff I'll hopefully be bringing to you soon so um, thanks for watching as always take care